Good morning, everybody. It is currently Sunday, January 29th. We are at Carowinds to take a look at Aeronautica Landing, what's been going on over there. I've seen some new progress on the live cameras, but we're here in person to check it out. We'll also take a look at the Vortex refurbishment going on and take a look at the Ripborn Rapids area and speculate what's going on with that. Okay, so a new update with Carowinds in 2023. I don't know if I've mentioned it in the last few videos, but early entry is available for all gold, platinum, and prestige pass members. It's only around 30 minutes and it's only for select rides. Today is Copperhead Strike in Carolina Sky Tower. But this is a cool feature to have at Carowinds. Big progress for Aeronautica Landing. You can see there's a little windsock and control tower here. That is a big piece of theming for it. You can see right there, Hover and Dodge is also getting a refurb. They're working on the roof I've seen on live cams and just working on general improvements for it, some of the theming. Before we continue with aeronautical landing updates, I'm gonna get a few rides on Copperhead Strike since it's a walk-on. You can see the mystery sixth ride over there with all the workers and the fences. Big boo blasters update, but they are completely redoing the exterior of it. I don't know what this means for the actual ride, but they're pretty clearly doing something with it. And then the entrance to Aeronautica Landing will be over here. You can also see Terminal A start to go in right there. I'd like to take a few seconds to tribute our forgotten Chick-fil-A that is now gone. Why is there happy music? Okay, if you can see those supports going up right there, that's gonna be where Terminal A is. That's gonna be like the outdoor patio. And the inside should be the Chick-fil-A remodeled, or they're just building a new building for it. In other words, you can see some fences going in with the concrete pad for one of the rides. You can see the fences for the queue line too, and another view of the control tower and the frequent fryer stand. Air walkers, the whatever this ride is, um, since we last saw it, you can see the lighting package is on with all the little lights and the fences are starting to go up around most of this place too. They're starting work for the fences around the nebulas and completing the operator panel. Air race looks good, nothing's really happened other than the operator panel starting to be finished and those pillars up for theming. Nothing's been happening to Plants vs. Zombies. Someone commented the other day asking about a possible flying theater ride. I think that would be a really cool ride. It might be out of budget since this is a smaller addition to Carowinds. It's not a major coaster. But I think it would be a cool ride for 2024, maybe, as like a part two expansion. Otherwise, you can see the operator booths and pathing start to go in for everything. Along with that, you can see fencing for a mystery ride back there and the concrete pad. I don't know what that ride is going to be, but we will have to find out because Carowinds has not announced it yet. Here's another look at the bumper cars all the way over there behind the operator booth for the nebulas. Vortex, there's nothing really going on, nothing in the station. So we'll, ha we'll have to see how this refurb goes. That's going to do it for this Aeronautical Landing Construction Update. If you enjoyed, then make sure to like and subscribe. Anyways, this is Zero G Coaster signing out. Have a great rest of your day and see you guys.